So you've got yourself a Samsung Galaxy S23 or maybe an S24 and you want to turn your camera into a beast. Well, I've got 15 tips and tricks for you guys. Some of these are more basic, some of them more advanced, but I can tell you one thing, a lot of these tips and tricks, a lot of people don't know about. So by the end of this video, you're not going to be one of those people. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is install an app which you can only get from the Samsung Galaxy Store. So once you go into the Galaxy Store, at the top, search for camera assistant now this is an official samsung app and it's part of the goodlock labs and i did an entire video about goodlock and i'll come back to that at the end of the video if you want to check that out now once you install this app you have a bunch of new features available to you and we'll come back to these in a moment now the second thing you need to do is install another camera app from the galaxy store this is not pre-installed by samsung at launch this is for people who really want to level up their photography so that's why i'm showing it to you guys so if you go back to the Galaxy app, go to Expert Raw, just type that in at the top. And this is another official Samsung Electronics app. Download that. Now this is different from the standard stock app that you get on the phone. This opens the door to so many more features and settings. And once you know how to use these, trust me, your photography game is gonna level up massively. Now there's one more app you need to get and it's really important that you get this because it works in tandem with the Expert Raw app and you can use it for free. There is a paid version as well. It is, of course, Adobe Lightroom. Install this app, 100 million downloads, you know it's good. Okay, so now you've downloaded the three important apps. The Expert Raw and the Lightroom are standalone apps and the Camera Assistant can only be found within the settings of the default camera app. Okay, so one of the things that a lot of people don't realize you can do with the S23 with the primary camera is actually toggle between three different sets of megapixel resolutions and they're kind of hidden away. So how to access these is actually quite easy if you know what you're looking for. See where it says three by four at the top. If you tap that, it opens up different aspect ratios that you can use. But in the top left corner, you'll see 200 megapixel and you'll also see 50 megapixels. So the times when you'd want to use these is when you want really high quality images to work with on a computer after taking the photo. And this brings me on to my channel sponsor and these limited edition Ridge wallets. These are the Travis Matthew limited edition ones. I really like this silver one here with the palm trees. And also these ones are very cool as well. So I'm gonna take a photo here with the 12 megapixel pixel binning mode, which is a standard mode. Then I'm gonna do the 50 and 200 and see if you can notice the difference when I put them side by side. So that's your 12 megapixel. That's your 50 megapixel. Pixel. Now take a look at these photos. Now let's zoom in just quickly so you can see the difference in the details. Let me know what you think of that. And did you know you could even do that? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys want to pick up any of the Ridge wallets or even the Ridge rings that I'm wearing right here, you can get a discount on these if you go to ridge.com forward slash what gear. And depending when you pick them up, you might even get a 40% discount. So keep an eye out for that. I will keep the link updated below these videos. So one of the things that a lot of people appreciate, including myself, is the fact that Samsung toggle off the beauty mode by default, but actually activating it when you want to is something that a lot of people don't know how to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So when you're taking photos of people who are very picky about photos of themselves, you can use this feature and make them look better than they actually do. And I'm sure that they will love you for that. So when you're taking a picture of a person, either with the rear camera or the front facing camera, all you need to do to activate the beauty mode is hit the little magic wand in the top right corner. Now you can choose filters if you want, but here's what we're looking at, the beautification of the face. And you can see right now it's set to off. If we turn it on, we've got a bunch of features so we can make the eyes bigger. We can adjust the tone of the photo, the shape of the jawline, the size of the eyes. These are all things that can make someone look better than they do within reason. <laughs> and here's a picture of me with the beautification effects all maxed out to the top. Just how I like it. Okay, so one of the things that a lot of people don't realize they can do is actually lock in the exposure values. And this is very useful when shooting outdoors like this, where the sun's gonna change, the shadows are gonna change, but you wanna keep a consistent exposure. So what you can do is actually hold your finger down on the part of the photo that you want to lock the exposure on. And you see the little padlock pops up. Now, no matter where I move with the camera, the exposure values stay the same. And one of the other things you can do is you can lock the exposure and then adjust the exposure value manually with the little slider underneath. So if you want a sort of darker, moodier looking photo, you can achieve that. Or if you want a brighter, very, very bright photo, you can achieve that too. 
And essentially what this does is it allows you to dial in the perfect exposure values for your photo and you can use this across all of the different lenses. Okay, so when you've got a moving subject and it's hard to nail the focus because they're constantly moving, wouldn't it be nice if you could auto lock onto them? Well, there is a setting within the settings menu of the camera app. So all you need to do to access it is go to your settings, scroll down, you'll see a bunch of features, but the one we're looking at is the tracking auto focus feature. Now enable that. What we can now do is you can see the camera is actually locking onto the dog automatically, but we can actually tap the dog and you see the yellow square pops up. And now when the dog moves, the camera will auto track the dog. So sometimes when it comes to taking photos of really nice landscapes like this, you might need a bit of assistance to nail the perfect shot. And the great thing about the Samsung devices is there is a feature within the settings called Scene Optimizer, which should be on, that'll adjust the colors. But underneath that, you'll see Shot Suggestions. So if you enable that, once we go back into the camera app, you'll see this dot in the middle. And that is what the camera AI thinks is the best shot according to what it can see with his camera bionic eyes. So I do recommend you switch on this setting because it will help you nail better photos. So if you don't like the idea of having the camera assistant on all the time, you wanna compose your own photos, one word of advice to you, and this is something I tell to most people, really the first thing you should switch on within your camera settings is the grid. So to access that, you go to your settings, scroll down, and you'll see grid lines, enable this. Now, when you're taking photos, you can use the rule of thirds, and that is the three segments of the photo. And the theory behind this is that if you line up the focal point of the photo on the intersection of these lines, that can help you compose a more eye-catching picture. Some people prefer other ratios, like the golden ratio and stuff like that. I like the grid lines. It just lets me know where the center of the photo is and where I want the key points to be. And if I want to line up straight lines, for example, posts or trees, I can line them up with the vertical lines to make sure the photo is at the right angle. Now, one problem a lot of people have when it comes to taking photos on phones is actually nailing the focus, particularly if it's a bird or a dog or a cat or something like that. And there is a setting within the camera assistant settings that can allow you to capture those moments a bit more effectively. So go into camera assistant, scroll down to where it says priority focus over speed. What will happen now is it won't actually capture the photo until it knows it's nailed the focus. So come back to this one as and when you need to. And just below it, you'll see capture speed. And you can adjust this according to what it is you're taking photos of. So you can either prioritize the speed, balance speed and quality. So that's the happy medium or prioritize quality. And at the bottom, you'll see higher resolutions, fast capture, faster post processing. So. I wouldn't bother turning that on unless you really want to see the, uh, the previews very quickly when you're taking fast photos. I would recommend you keep faster capture on for now. But these are settings that you definitely want to look at, particularly when it comes to sporting events, fast moving objects, Formula One, football, anything like that. Okay, now you've dialed in the settings according to whatever it is you're taking photos of. Wouldn't it be great if you could take a burst, a sequence of loads of photos, or go even one better and create a GIF for social media? Well, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so within the camera app, all you need to do is dive into the settings once again. And then here, we're gonna go to where it says, swipe shutter button to create. Now, I've already changed it to GIF. By default, it's on burst shot. So, when you're in the camera app, if you hold the button and drag it down, you'll see it starts taking a series of photos. It just took 67 photos incredibly quickly. And then because of all the settings we've already dialed in to nail focus and things like that, you'll have a perfect shot somewhere within that bunch of photos. But check this out. Let's say you're more into social media, posting stuff to Twitter or whatever. This is a cool feature. So if you go back into the settings again, go back to the same menu, swipe shutter two. This time we're gonna change it to GIF. Now, when we go back into the camera app, when we swipe down, you see the numbers ticking up. That's your GIF being created. Check this out. We've got all the nice bubbles moving up inside this Estrella beer. So have you ever been in a situation where you've had to set up your phone 
at a distance to take a photo with a timer. Well, what tends to happen when you do that is it just takes one photo. So you have to run into the frame, pose for the shot, and you get one shot of getting a good photo. Wouldn't it be great if you could take a few more photos so you can pick the best one when you set up a timer. Well, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so your timer is located at the top here. It's the little clock icon. When you tap that, you can set how long you want your timer to be. But we can go one step further. If we go into the settings here, we scroll down to the camera assistant that we've already installed. Now here, we can go to where it says timer, multi-photo options, and we can select three, five, or seven. So now when you set up your camera, you set the timer and you run into frame, we can have seven different photos and we can even change the time delay between each photo. So we can set it to two seconds. So this is just a really good way of taking photos of yourself with the primary camera. If you happen to have a tripod or if you just position the camera somewhere leaning against something, maybe like this. So if you've made it this far into the video, you're fast becoming an expert on the Samsung Galaxy camera system. So now you're ready to dive into Samsung Expert Raw. So as you can see, the light is shifting now, the sun's going down, and sometimes it's great to rely on the camera AI to adjust all of the values for you, but sometimes you need to lock them in yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do that within the Expert Raw app. And then I'm gonna show you one of the greatest little tricks and uh, effects that you can create with the Expert Raw app from Samsung. Check this out. Okay, so unlike Camera Assistant, the Camera Raw app, think of it as a standalone app. And you'll notice on my home screen, I actually have the app on the home screen. So I can access Camera Raw from here. Now you can also access it from the camera app, the default camera app, by going to the more section and in the top left corner, you've got the Camera Raw section there. Now I'm not gonna go too much in depth into all of the settings here, but I'll run through them very quickly for you guys. So the ISO you do wanna keep at the lowest possible so you don't get too much digital distortion. The shutter speed, you never really wanna go lower than around 100 20th of a second, otherwise you'll introduce camera shake. The only time you go lower with that is if you're gonna have a tripod. The exposure values, if you want to expose for a darker shot, you can drop the values. And if you wanna go brighter, you can raise the values. But typically you should keep it at the middle. Now the focus is something that's really important, something you need to know about because this is a fantastic feature. If you follow me here, you'll see, when you go to focus and you manually adjust it, the highlights in green is what's known as focus peaking so if you want to really nail the focus you can dial it in and when you see the green highlights on your subject you know that's locked in that's in focus and as long as you're not going to move the phone out of position that's going to be what the photo is focused on now check this out where it says manual you can go back to auto if you want but see these little settings here in the bottom right corner when you tap that and you hit the little plus you can save your exposure values, and even give it a name, whatever you like. So that's how you create a custom exposure value profile within the Expert Raw app. Okay, the most important thing about Expert Raw is where to find it, of course. So it's in the more section here, top left corner there. If you wanna keep it even simpler than that, add the app to the home screen, that's what I've done. So whenever I wanna do creative stuff, I can just quickly open it from there. Now the white balance is something we didn't touch on. This changes the tone of the photo from cool to warm. And what you can do is match it up with what your eyes are seeing. Once you're happy with the photo and the exposure values, you can lock it in just like before by holding your finger on the screen. And you'll see the two padlocks pop up, the autofocus and the exposure is locked in now. And you can unlock it whenever you want as well. But here's the secret feature that I wanna show you guys, and this is gonna blow your mind. See the two interlinking squares in the top right corner. If you tap that, this is your multiple exposure mode. Now set this to manual, so you're gonna manually expose two different shots and set it to two layers. You can go all the way up to nine if you want to, but we're gonna keep it as two. And what I'm gonna do here is preserve the highlights of what the camera can see in the first shot. So here we go. And you can see now what that's done. That's captured all of the highlights of the artwork. Now check this out, follow me. Now what I'm gonna do with the highlights from that first photo is overlay them here amongst the flowers. And check out 
that bit of art and the dog is chewing on the microphone. And check out that, that's a pretty epic photo. And that's just two layers. You could do nine of these and get really, really creative. Okay, so now you've created your creative art within the Expert Raw camera app. And you'll notice the file size here is huge compared to your usual JPEG. And remember the app I told you to install at the beginning, Lightroom. The reason I've told you to install it is because within the Expert Raw app is a shortcut directly to it. Tap that and that imports that directly into Lightroom. And then within Lightroom, you can play with all that extra information that the photo has. You can crop it, you can adjust the colors. And if you wanna be really lazy, you could even hit auto here and that will adjust how the photo looks. You can pull up colors, you can bring down the shadows. You can do a lot with this photo now. Let's adjust the contrast. Let's crush the shadows down a bit like that. Let's change the vibrance, bring that up, saturation up. And now let's crop it down into a nice shape, a nice square for social media. So you get the idea of what you can do with the Expert Raw app, with Lightroom combined. You can really create some great stuff. And so hopefully now you've learned a few things about your Samsung Galaxy camera apps that you didn't already know. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And if you didn't, then uh, you're already a pro. And share your tips in the comments below. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. See you in the next one. Don't be late.